The military is in control of Bangladesh after mass protests forced longtime Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to resign and flee the country. The Bangladeshi parliament is set to be dissolved today, and a military-backed caretaker government likely to be formed. Student leaders, who spearheaded the anti-quota movement, want Nobel laureate Mohammad Yunus to lead the interim government. Bangladeshi President Mohammad Shahabuddin ordered the release of former Prime Minister and Hasina's arch-rival Khalida Zia, who was jailed for corruption in 2018. The 78-year-old is in poor health and is unlikely to be a contender to lead the country. The president also released protesters imprisoned over the past couple of months. Thousands of Bangladeshis flooded the streets of Dhaka in celebration of what they called liberation from Hasina's dictatorship. Protesters who stormed Hasina's official residence looted and vandalized the prime minister's palace. Some smashed statues of Hasina's father, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Others set a museum dedicated to the country's independence hero on fire. Offices of Hasina's Awami League were torched and looted across the country. Protesters even stormed the parliament and set TV stations ablaze. But there were also scenes of chaos and anger, with police reporting at least 66 people killed on Monday as mobs launched revenge attacks on Hasina's allies.